Hello developer! If you are experiencing errors integrating the Google Play API on Android, this is for you. In this video, I'll share tips about how to troubleshoot and amend your integration to get them ready for production use and start collecting payments with Google Pay more quickly. A common error while integrating the Google Pay API is building a JSON request that does not pass validation. For example, this request contains a typo and two invalid values for the allowed payment methods and billing address format fields. Make sure that every property and value in your configuration conform to the API spec, which you can find in the API reference section in the documentation. Another common error occurs when you transition your integration from the test environment to production before obtaining approval through the Google Pay and Wallet console. Your integration needs to be reviewed before you can start using Google Pay in production to ensure that it adheres to the terms of service of the API. You can initiate the review process directly from the Google Pay API section in the console. You'll receive an email when your submission is approved and can start operating in the production environment. If your integration has errors when you run your application, there are two places where you can look in order to understand the root cause and amend your integration. First, the LogCat offers a stream of system messages for an Android device, including messages written in your business logic using the Log class. The Google Pay API logs messages under the Wallet Merchant Error tag. If you prefer to browse messages in the LogCat using Android Studio, make sure to remove the default filter that shows messages from your app process only and add the Wallet Merchant Error tag to show the error messages from the Google Pay API. If you use the ADB command line tool to explore logs, use the ADB logcat command with the S flag to remove the default filter spec and add the wallet merchant error tag. Second, unsuccessful responses to API calls also include information about integration errors. You can use the error status code in the response object to update your application interface and prompt users to take action if needed. For example, you may retry a payment request if you receive a transient error. Responses also include error details that you can use to debug your integration. Reacting to error scenarios appropriately increases your chances for successful user journeys. Let's explore three typical error scenarios and how to react to them based on their nature. Development time errors are an inherent part of building software and among the most common causes for unwanted behaviors in your application. For example, suppose that you hard code the Google Pay configuration in your application and introduce a typo. Dev time errors can be fatal and need to be amended before publishing your application. Use the information available to you in the LogCat and runtime exceptions, and remember to introduce the necessary testing practices to identify and fix them early on. Runtime errors can be classified as expected or unexpected. Expected runtime errors are known and your application should be ready to handle them, whether they can be resolved or not. One example of an expected runtime error in the Google Pay API, and in this case, unresolvable, occurs when a user with an invalid user account attempts to make a payment in your application. When this error occurs, use the status code in the response to fail gracefully and offer alternative paths to complete the payment. Unexpected runtime errors can occur due to transient anomalies or valid scenarios that have been overlooked. For example, suppose that you store your Google Pay configuration in your backend infrastructure and a failed deployment makes your application use an invalid payment configuration. In situations like this, help your user navigate the error and offer alternative paths if the error has no resolution. For transient errors, consider offering automated or user-driven retry policies. In addition, Remember that introducing monitoring and logging in your application will help you identify and potentially support valid scenarios that were disregarded earlier. Errors are a fundamental part of software development. Understanding the different types of error scenarios is key to building a fluid and helpful experience for your users. At Google Pay, we continue to improve our APIs to provide more helpful errors and reduce your exposure to avoidable ones. Take a look at the troubleshooting guide in the Android Docs to learn more about handling error scenarios in your application. 
Also, join us in the official Google Pay and Wallet community in the payments channel on Discord. And I'll see you there.